Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. On July 20th, Jeff Elbert came to the state capitol seeking help for his failing business. At the time, the BP oil spill had driven sales at Jeff's four Pensacola souvenir shops down 40 percent. To be at the, the will and the winds of, of BP is, is a very frustrating process. At the end of this month, Jeff will close one of his shops. Business is still down. The claim he filed back in May still not paid. CFO Alex Sink shared Jeff's story at Tuesday's cabinet meeting. If it is going to take an additional month to review and process these claims, many businesses will be unable to keep their doors open. 18,000 claims have been filed in Florida, just 5,500 of them paid. The pace slowed drastically when Ken Feinberg, the federally appointed claims czar, took over for BP. Earlier this week, Mr. Feinberg told members of the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association that proximity would play a big role in who gets paid meaning the farther away a business is from the disaster, the less likely BP will pay their claim. Attorney General Bill McCollum met with Feinberg for two hours Wednesday morning. Feinberg escaped out the back, but McCollum told reporters Florida won't be overlooked. If he doesn't resolve this and allow claims in the state of Florida, all over the state of Florida, in the tourism industry, we're going to have a lot of litigation. McCollum says part of the reasons there are delays in Florida is because Louisiana and Alabama say their claims are more urgent and are questioning the validity of Florida claims. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.